Good morning, everybody. Steve Brown from Small Business Elite, the membership site that's dedicated to local business marketing and local business owners. In today's uh, video, we're going to be looking at the buying cycle and understanding the, the buying cycle. So the first thing I'd ask you is, have you ever heard of the term marketing funnel? Because it's important you understand the concept of a marketing funnel if you are to understand the buying cycle. Because whenever we talk to local business owners, everybody wants instant results. You know, if I give you some money today, can you turn on this magic tap and have instant results such as new customers flowing into my business? But if you think about it, every person is in a different sector of the buying cycle and hence a different part of your marketing funnel. Stage one is where they're recognizing they have a want or a need. So, <clears throat> we, you know, I call this awareness. So let me give you some examples of this. You're sat at home in the evening and your partner asks you, are we going on holiday this year? You think about it for a moment and then you respond, well, where should we go? So you've now recognized that you have a want. Another example could be that your car is leaking oil and you've been persevering for the past three weeks, but now it's become so bad it has to be fixed sometime this week. So you've now identified a need. So at this moment in time, these potential customers are nowhere near your marketing funnel as they even haven't even started looking yet. So then we move on to <clears throat> stage two. And stage two is where you're actually searching for solutions to satisfy your, your want or your need. So using the examples we have just used, let's take the first one where the discussion started about having a holiday. At this stage, the conversation progresses and the potential customer starts to, you know, taking some action. They decide that they fancy either France or Italy and start browsing on the net. Now, it doesn't matter what device they are using, desktop computer, laptop computer, iPad, mobile, etc. These are all just different devices to access different marketing channels. What is important to us as business owners is that this is our first opportunity to put these potential customers into our marketing funnel. This is the first time these potential customers have gone online to access the information and when they land on your travel agent's website, you have three to five seconds to make that first impression. And this is your first opportunity to add them to your marketing funnel by tagging them for retargeting. Now, we cover retargeting the membership site. So I'm, I'm just understand that you, it's your first opportunity. You can tag them for retargeting. And it's also a time for you, the travel agent, to think, what do you want them to do? This is one of the most fundamental questions we ask business owners. Land on your site and do what? Because as we've already seen in this example, this couple have only just started browsing. They're at the top of the marketing funnel with absolutely no intention of buying at this stage. And once they've left this website, do you really think they're coming back? In fact, I'll guarantee you that in three weeks' time, when they've decided which country that they want to go to, they can't even remember the keywords they typed in to find your website in the first place. So when this potential customer lands on your website, I'll ask you again to do what? Now, you could have a free copy, uh, you know, a free ebook that they could download in exchange for the email address. And the ebook could have been seven ways to save money when booking a holiday or an ebook on each country, such as, I don't know, five things you should know to get the most out of a holiday to Italy. A lousy title, but you get the idea. If people downloaded the ebook, you have now achieved two things and we're still only at stage two of the buying cycle. Number one, you've tagged them for retargeting. Number two, you have their email address for your newsletter and for your offers, etc. So then we reach stage three. And stage three is where you're mentally or, or literally creating a short list of solutions. So now having looked at all of the information on the different websites, and yes, I'm sorry guys, but you weren't the only travel agent that they landed on and browsed through. However, we were smarter with our marketing strategies. So they've now already begun to see our brand everywhere uh, on the internet and Facebook reminding them of our business through retargeting. And they've begun to receive our newsletters, etc. But, but at stage three of the buying cycle, 
we're now narrowing down our choice, you know, down to France. But more specifically, we're now considering do we want to go to the south of France or to Paris? And now that and now decided that Paris is a better fit. And in fact, I tell you what, we'll go five nights in Paris because we can't leave our business for much longer. So the potential customer also decides that they want to stay in bed and breakfast or a hotel at the centre of Paris to minimise the travelling. And they also want to spend all day out and eat of the evening. So again, all they need is a bed for the five nights. Now at this stage, the potential customer is much nearer to getting their credit or debit card out, but they still have no intention of purchasing today. So at stage four, they're finding the business that fulfills the solution. So they've identified what they want. Now they're looking for a business that can fulfill that solution. So at this stage, the potential customer is looking for that place to stay. The one hotel that provides bed and breakfast located in the center of Paris. And after looking at the star ratings for the different hotels and reading pre previous customer reviews, they choose one particular hotel. And reputation reviews are again covered in the membership area, but realize that this is the thought process and the buying process that we all go through when buying goods or services. So then we're at stage five. And stage five is making the purchase. It is only at stage five that the potential customer even considered getting their credit or debit card out to make that purchase. Throughout all of the other stages, they were only seeking information. But the problem is that any local, many local business owners seem to forget this and miss such a massive opportunity to add potential customers who are at the early stages to their marketing funnel. The savvy travel agent in this example has been continuously displaying their brand to the customer from stage two and sending marketing materials through their email address so that when the customer was ready to buy, at least they were one of the businesses considered and not the one that the customer had long you know, forgotten. So let's have a summary of the buying cycle, because as you can see, there are five stages we all go through for any for any purchase we make. Stage one, identifying you have a need or a want, which is your, you know, in this case, it was the holiday. Stage two, broadly searching for that information. And again, in this particular example, we, it was whether we go to France or Italy. Stage three was creating your shortlist, and that's where we identified, uh, you know, we we're going to go to Paris. Stage four was narrowing your list right down. In that case, it was we're looking for a bed and breakfast hotel in the centre of Paris. And stage five was actually making the purchase. So now that you know what the buying cycle is, what actions are you going to take for your business? I've landed on your website. Now what? What do you want me to do? Can you give away a free ebook, a free white paper, a free report, free, you know, training video? Every business can create something they can give away for free and retargeting. Set up retargeting for all of your platforms so that your brand builds KOT, no like and trust and continue to remind the customer of your brand until they are nearer the buying decision. Now, we recognize the fact that it, many local business owners are busy working in the business and therefore have little time to work on their business, which is why we've developed our unique newsletter, Customer Accelerator. Customer Accelerator has been developed with you, the local business owners, in mind and delivers one new marketing guide every week for free and more importantly, can be implemented in just 30 minutes. Do you have 30 minutes per week to develop your marketing and improve your business? If yes, sign up for the Customer Accelerator here by clicking on the link below.